So in this video, we're going to use the formula that we derived in the previous video to find the shortest distance between these two skew lines. OK, so it's really just identifying which pieces we have. So let's let A1 be the position vector on line 1, so 7, 2, 3. And uh, A2 is the position vector that we have here, 8 minus 3 minus 5. D1 uh, is 1, 2, 5. And D2 is minus 2, 7, 1. OK, so we're going to need to find A1, take away A2. So 7 take away 8 is minus 1. 2 take away minus 3 is 5. 3 take away minus 5 is 8. We're also going to need to find D1 crossed with D2. I, J, K. Uh, so 1, 2, 5. And minus 2, 7, 1. So we have uh, 2 takeaways, 7 lots of 5. So minus 33 i. Then t minus 1 times 1 take away 5 times minus 2. Uh, so minus 11 j. And then we've got 7. Uh, so just plus 4, isn't it? So plus 11k. So that is uh, d1 cross with d2. So I'm going to need to work out the length of this vector. So d1 cross with d2 length. So we've got uh, 33 squared plus 11 squared plus 11 squared. Uh, square rooted is 11 root 11. So uh, h is going to be equal to uh, the length of, um, so we've got a, this one dotted with this one. So minus 1 times minus 33, so it's just 33. Um, then we've got 5 times minus 11, so minus 55. Then we've got 8 times 11, so plus 88. And that's being divided by 11 root 11. OK, so we just need to make sure that's positive. So we've got 33, take away 55, plus 88, divided by 11 root 11. And we get 6 root 11 over 11 which is 1.81 to three significant figures, OK? And so that's how we can just use the formula to work out the shortest distance between two skew lines.